Daisy Kenyon is the kind of woman toward whom other women, and men, are never indifferent. Either they despise her heartily or admire her greatly, depending on their own experiences. In choosing between the two men in her life, Daisy has to struggle to make up her mind about herself. First, there's Dan O'Mara, who has a fascination that leaves her powerless. We can stop. I've tried to. Honestly, I've tried. I will someday, too. All right, you will. You stop sometime, maybe next year, next week. But not this week. <laughs> All right, not this week. In Peter Lapham's arms, she finds a different emotion. But is it love or escape? Do you love him? Yes, I do love him. But it isn't enough, or I wouldn't be here, would I? Peter is right. Dan's love isn't enough. Sometimes she must be true to herself and face facts. You're never going to marry me, Dan, because you're never going to be divorced, for all you say. That's not fair. You're never going to be divorced because you don't want to be. Believe me, I'm not being sorry for myself. I knew it would be like this. Just that I'm tired, that's all. Tired and through. Daisy finally learns that this is the sort of problem that she and she alone must decide. I'll do my own thinking, thank you, and my own existing. Perhaps you're among those who condemn Daisy Canyon. Perhaps you're among those who admire her. But I ask that you withhold your judgment until you know her decision.